Good afternoon. It's a delight to be back here for the National Soccer Hall of Fame induction ceremony, and it's a privilege to welcome you to Frisco, Texas, the home of U.S. soccer history. Every year we have an unbelievable group, but this year's class is especially remarkable. Arguably some of the best we have ever seen take the field or coach from the sidelines, and arguably one of the best all-time sports writers. I think this class is incredible. Um, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of so many peoples um, that have impacted the game and, and to be kind of considered in that group is that's that's an amazing honor. Jill has been my coach for quite a long time like when I first made the national team it was the U21s um, and Jill was my coach and she's been a part of my journey for so long um, and she's a phenomenal coach so for her to be in my same class is pretty cool. I think this is just like the cherry on top, like wow, like getting recognized for everything that you did as a player is, is pretty surreal. When I started playing, I never thought or even played the game to, for, for accolades and to be honest, even uh, championships and, and uh, individual awards, it was just because I loved the game, I loved to play, I just want to have fun when I, when I was growing up in Fort Wayne, so um, to see it all kind of come together and, and be inducted uh, with so many other great names that's been before me and, and played this great game. Uh, it's really a special moment for myself. I was so grateful that the way the soccer world worked out and the soccer gods worked out is that these and I got to go in together. My first national team camp ever with the youth national team was with Bees. It's nice to come from where we came from. Me, a very small town in California in a 900 square foot home with a single mom as a teacher, and bees from a poor part of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and end up here is pretty remarkable. And we've had the ability to do it together every step of the way, and I'm so happy for him. This is such an incredible honor to, be, to win this and be inducted into Hall of Fame. I think I've overwhelmed, uh, more overwhelmed than I thought I would be, just watching all the stories and the speeches, but then when I got called up and my son uh, doing the speech, it got me choked up. So for me, it was super important just to honor the people that came before, honor my family, and uh, share this award with them. I mean, you really reflect about almost a 20-year career, all your teammates you played with, all the coaches you played for. But for me, it was about what really is a teammate. And I think that's what it came down to, ultimately. And I'm just saying that right now for the first time. but. A teammate really is there for you through the highs and the lows and the ups and the downs and no different than a coach. And I think when I look at my career, I'm proud of the teammate and the player that I was, but mostly the teammate that I was. There, everyone has a unique path to getting to this point and it's, not, it's never the same. It's never easy. Soccer and sports really are the ultimate meritocracy. They don't care what you look like, where you're from, what color you are, how you speak. All sports do is whoever's the best gets to play, and that's it. And so you gotta earn it every step of the way, and if you're not earning it, you're gone. And so the people on that stage today earned it every single step of the way, consistently over a long period of time. And to me, that's, that's their true greatness.